Hi there, good morning. It's 6.30. We are leaving Portland and we're heading north to Victoria, British Columbia. So after several hours on the road and some rain, we finally got near the Canada US border and we stopped at the Peace Arch Park which is a beautiful place it's definitely worth stopping if you haven't we decided to stop here because we wanted to stretch our legs and let Mojo go out and kind of just like walk around a little bit before crossing the border we weren't sure how long it was going to take us to cross or if she was going to be antsy so it was just easier for us to just like let her get some energy out but it was beautiful so we are officially in British Columbia the drive was pretty well overall. It was raining the whole time we um, we were driving, but it was okay. Once we got to the immigration and the border crossing, that was super easy. It took us about less than 10 minutes to cross. Uh, no issues at all, which was really nice. And then now that we got to the ferry, because we're going straight to Victoria, that's gonna be our first stop. Uh, we did get some issues here. We had made a reservation and we had originally mentioned that we were gonna have our storage on top of our vehicle or our little toolie that we that we got for extra storage but we actually didn't need to bring it this time around and i'll go into details later but long story short we got here and they ended up taking our reservations away just because we didn't have that thing even though we had paid for it so they ended up refunding us the difference and putting us in a non-reserved spot so now we have to wait and see if we're able to get on the ferry so that's a little bit annoying and then on top of that i also mentioned it's raining it's been raining and right now there is a uh, wind advisory in victoria so they said that there may be some potential delays so i don't know what's happening we're here an hour early from our scheduled time so now we're just gonna wait and see Hey guys, officially saying hello from Vancouver Island. We were able to get on the ferry. We literally were the one of the last few cars that was able to get on. And then it took about an hour and 35 minutes to get here. And right now we are at our first stop here in Sydney, BC. It's Beacon Brewing and we order a flight and we're gonna just like check out some of the beers and see kind of what's around here and then drive down to Victoria where we're gonna hang out and then check into our airbnb so adam really enjoyed the flight and the brewery was really cool overall it has a nice vibe to it the inside is really spacious and the patio is dog friendly which is something that i obviously enjoy uh, mojo had a great time they also have a famous dog wall they st i guess they're starting taking photos and just adding the dogs that visit the brewery so mojo got her photo taken and of course that was a big hit for me after that we headed over to our airbnb so this was a really small airbnb we originally had booked it for our trip in July and we were only gonna stay there one night but things changed so we ended up staying there a little longer it worked out really great and it was like a nice really private area even though it was small it worked out really well for us next to the Airbnb they had a really beautiful park that actually connected to a Japanese garden or what it used to be a Japanese garden and tea house and now it's kind of like an event space so we just kind of walked around and hung out there for the rest of the afternoon it was a really nice place and i love that it was just dog friendly and then from there we had um we decided to head over to driftwood brewery for dinner and just to have some drinks again another brewery that has a dog friendly patio this was probably one of my favorite breweries overall the whole time we were there but they were pretty friendly um the staff was great they had a few vegan options on the menu the dumplings were really really good and that was it for our first day so i hope you enjoy the video and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye